everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and it is time for some more Magic 2014 Duels of the Planeswalkers. I'm here against Back. Back. His name is Back. He is back with some Hound of Conda here. Uh, two, two for one. I'm here with Sliver Hive, and while I do have all of the DLC decks totally unlocked, I just want to play. I, you know, I, I played against so many people where it's like mirror matches, samurai versus samurai, and stuff like that so far. Um, that I really just wanted to play a, a traditional deck for a second, see how it fares up. Because a lot of people are saying that these um, DLC decks are all overpowered, which I, I highly disagree with. They're all powerful, but I really think what they've done is rebalance the game a little bit, where some of the most top tier decks just aren't that great anymore. Um, I'm looking at you, <coughs> all the basically top three decks. My voice is going, by the way, so if it cracks or breaks or just disappears completely... I blame you, I blame my fans who required me to make videos, even though I'm sick, even though I'm coming down with something, they're making me make videos, it's just going to accelerate my illness, and here I'm going to rampant growth, um, even though I have a mountain in my hand, I'm going to go get a mountain, and there's a couple reasons for that, one is so that I can't misclick next turn and accidentally not put down my mountain and not have all of my colors available, two is that he doesn't know I have a mountain in my hand, whereas if I got like another planes, it might signal to him that I have a mountain in my hand, so now he doesn't know. Knowing is half the battle, go Joe. He's swinging in here with for three. Um, this thing's two two. You're now Isamaru, Hound of Konda. Um, I probably even read that wrong. And then we got these Moth Riders. I don't know how I feel about them. All I know is that I feel really happy right now because he has loaded up the board with exactly five goddamn toughness. And ladies and gentlemen, everyone who's ever told me that Fiery Justice is bad. Fire Justice is bad. I don't think Oprah thinks it's bad because you get a damage and you get a damage and you get a damage and you get two damages. Everyone gets damage except back. You get five life. Congratulations. That's your cons consolation prize. You lost four creatures. I lost one card. And I'd say that that is pretty goddamn awesome. So for anyone who doubts the power of Fiery Justice, you have just witnessed pretty much the best case scenario for that card being played ever. Ever. Now here, let's see, I got Blur Sliver, I got Mirror Entity, I got Face Fetters, which is clearly not going on the board. Sharon Animosity, I might take those out. I had those still in from the tournament last time. I could play the Mirror Entity um, in the next turn and have some pumping options, but if I play the Blur Sliver this turn, it has haste, so it can do damage now no matter what. Unless he has Lightning Helix on, which is highly possible. There's a lot in the deck. Lightning Helix, great card, by the way. Blur Sliver. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog style. People are like, yo, I, I, I don't know where it was. It wasn't somewhere on Reddit. I was probably in the dregs of Reddit somewhere. And people were talking about what kind of magic card Sonic the Hedgehog would be. And people were like, well, he's blue. Well, that doesn't mean he would be a blue creature. Like, he's basically got haste. He basically only is run by his emotions and doing things, like, super fast. So Sonic the Hedgehog would be a red creature all the way. He has super haste, man. He would come onto the board tapped and attacking, like, Super Sonic, Super Slug, or whatever the hell it's called from Ungalud, or basically like a ninja. And uh, here, got my... Oh, okay. All right. Lightning Helix. Not a big surprise there. Not a big surprise. I guess I wouldn't have killed. Uh, maybe he top-decked it. He only had two cards in hand, so um, one of them was possibly a top-deck. So the board position is pretty much neutral because I'm one Lightning Sliver away from losing everything. Uh, he's got some scary equipment here. No Dachi. Fine. Man, that would have been really scary if he had four creatures on the board. That would have been <laughs> that would have been really terrifying to, to see equipment hit the board then. Um, not so much so when I got a hasty Megantic Sliver and I'm swinging in for 11. Um, what I was going to say is the board position was like pretty neutral because uh, you know it's having a 2-2 on the board is not that scary. But he has like one card in hand. I have like four or five at the time. And I knew all of mine are scary and his aren't. So I am not too concerned with what he could possibly... Okay. Okay. He's got Goto Banded Warlord. He can search his library for any equipment and put it on the battlefield. This is really good, by the way. And then he gets to have two attack phases whenever he attacks with this thing. So I'm going to guess he's going to go get Imaziwa's Jite, which is one of the most broken cards ever printed in Magic history. Like, this card is... No, he didn't get it. He got Sword of Fire and Ice. Um, maybe he didn't have the Jite unlocked. Or maybe he wants the protection from red. I can see it going either way. Either way, it does not help him. Um, because I got face fetters, I'm about to hit, let's see, this guy's a 3-3. Three, three. Um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lands. 7 lands in play, so I could either cast the Entity and pump it up for 4, or I could cast the Share Down Amosity and the Entity, and it has haste. Or I could draw face fetters on him and still have the 3 mana, 
to play the meter entity or whatever the hell he wants. Share down Amasi. Share down Amasi would be enough for the kill, actually. It'd be a really funny way to win. I don't know if that's actually the safest or most effective way in case I somehow miscalculate this. So I'm just going to drop this down. And we're just going to go for the mirror entity. And now, sorry, the mirror entity is already going to be pretty big. Thanks to the healing, cleansing power, Megantic Sliver, buffing up your guys. Super Mr. Clean style. No one ever talks about Mr. Clean's muscles. I mean, geez, that guy lifts. I don't know if he skips leg day, though. And that's going to be it. That is going to be lethal damage to everyone on Wingspan TT, the fourth best commentator on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this match. I hope you subscribe and hope you come back next time. Cheers.